Hi everyone, this is Helen with Snook and Company. Okay, so today or tonight, I guess you'd say, I decided I'm gonna pop on and we're going to do a pour painting with these four smaller canvases. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, which, um, you know, I know a lot of you in person, but for those of you who don't know me, I'm an artist. I do mainly, I mainly work in acrylics. Uh, I like all different types of, of subject medium, uh, landscapes, florals, animals, lots of different things. If you do follow me and follow my um, Snook and Company Facebook page, you'll know that my heart really goes towards abstracts. There's just something about it. Um, colors, shapes, kind of there's a fluid motion about abstracts that I just, just really love. So like I say, that's, that's, really my, that's really where my passion is. I started uh, Snook and Company August of 2020, so it is a small, fledgling little business. Uh, as mentioned, I have a Facebook business page, Snook and Company, and it would be great if you could take a look, give it a like, tell your friends. I sell my work on Etsy at Snook and Company, all one word, capital S, capital A, capital C. And so maybe if you take a look, there might be something you just have to have. And perhaps there's something, too, you've thought of you'd like for your home that I could create for you. You'll get to see the, the types of things I do. Uh, also, I have the YouTube channel, of course, and that's just getting started as well. And if you hit subscribe, you can follow along on my future artistic uh, adventures. Let's put it that way. So uh, what I'm going to do, I, say, I like paint pouring. Uh, that kind of helps you know that's the abstract thing I've been done let's see flip cups regular pours the Dutch pour techniques you know always trying to learn some different ones colander pours you know they're all just a lot of fun and I should mention if you've ever thought about giving it a try yourself it makes a great date night or girls night something for the kids to do you know in a winter afternoon I do now offer a do-it-yourself paint pouring kit on in my Etsy store it includes an 11 by 14 canvas, uh, certain tools, a disposable tablecloth, stir sticks, that sort of thing. Uh, very detailed instructions with pictures. I included with pictures. <laughs> and uh, you get to choose with my kits. I offer 18 different colors and you get to choose four. So you're not having to, you know, to pick up a kit that's pre-made and maybe you like three of the colors, but not the fourth one. You know, with mine, like I say, you have 18 colors to choose from. So so that's available now in my Etsy store, and say it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so what I had originally thought about doing with this, my original thought was to take, to do four canvases together with one design, so they could be hung kind of as a statement piece. I've done some trying back and forth, and it was kind of turned into a hold my beer moment. Uh, <laughs> gonna be honest with you uh, and that's but that's part of the creative process you know we're always learning and I think that's true in any aspect of life but particularly with art say we're, we're always learning we get this creative inspiration and we try it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't we modify it so anyways uh, so what I decide I'm gonna do we're gonna do these four little pieces together at one time with in the same colors so they could in fact be hung on the wall as you know as a nice grouping as compared to what I tried to do earlier <laughs> so, okay so we're gonna do a colander pour okay color pours are a lot of fun and I'm gonna start off with this one and we're going to move I'm gonna do each 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 and each and it actually be kind of interesting to see how same technique but how each one is going to come out a little bit different and I had gone ahead and mixed up black white and a really pretty burgundy wine color I thought would be nice to use. So we're going to use each of those and we'll see what we come up with. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to start with a little bit of black. Not a lot, just a little bit of black. And this one. And then we're going to go, I think we'll go ahead and Puddle one down and then we'll we'll keep going. Okay, so let's see here. Next we're gonna add in, we'll go with a little bit of white. Just a little bit. 
little touch of this really pretty burgundy wine shade that is just gorgeous. It's going to be really nice with it. A little bit of wine. Probably should have put gloves on, but that's okay. I've always got paint all over my hands. And then another little touch of white to finish this one off. Oh, I think these are going to be pretty. Just a little touch of white. Okay, so we're going to let that, I'm going to let this puddle just a bit. See, it's already starting to come out and puddle. I think these are going to be really pretty. Okay, so we're going to lift. And then we're going to move over here. We're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to let that one start to move just a little bit. You'll see it starting to move. We'll probably do two at a time. Okay, so we're going to do our black. And then some white. Our pretty, pretty burgundy color. So each one, they'll be in the same color tones, but each one's going to be unique, which I think is kind of interesting. Interesting to see. A little bit of the wine. Make sure I have enough for all four. It's that one. And then a smidge more white. Okay, now while this one is puddling, we're going to tip this one and kind of get our paints moving a little. You can kind of see I'm going to try and I know the colander is kind of in the way, but I want to just let that one puddle a bit. Okay, let's go this way. I just love these. The funny, fun thing is with them too, they continue to develop and grow even after you've even after you've stopped tipping them. Okay, let's put this down here just a bit. I'm gonna go this way. Tip it down here, unless we want to get our corners covered. There we go. And let's go back here on the back end. We just got to get this back corner. Let me get a little on there. Okay. Corners all covered there. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, we're gonna let that one sit and develop a little bit. And on to our next one. Let's pick this one up. We're gonna let it start moving. I'll come over here. And we're gonna do our black. Black. Did a little heavier on that one. A little bit of white. Some white in. This pretty, pretty, pretty wine shade. It would be really pretty, actually. I think I'd like to try. If you see how pretty this is, I love the, the look of this. It would be pretty to do a canvas, say, in black first, and then do this and just let it just let it spread. I think that's going to be maybe the next, the next project on the list. That would be really pretty, too. And a little more white on that one. Okay, we're going to let that one puddle, and we're going to go ahead and do some tipping on this one. We want to get it moving. You want to try and you know move them sort of gradually to try and help preserve some of the some of the design if you can. Your center design. 
like I say, I think it'd be really pretty to try one and just maybe even use an excessive amount of paint and let it just keep puddling from the center. And you might, on a square canvas, you might be able to get away with not having to, to really do much tipping at all. And that would be really pretty to preserve that center. So I say that's going to go on the list of to try. Okay, let's go this way. Almost, almost getting these corners. You have to work a little bit sometimes to get the corners down. And we got to come this way still. It's okay. We're getting there. Almost getting it. That's a fun thing now. You'll start to see your colors, your cells start to develop too as you as you let it tip. And I just need to get that one bottom corner. You can see there. Just one little bit there. Okay. Looks like we've got kind of getting along the back there. And there we go. Okay, we're going to let this one grow a little bit more, and let's go ahead and, oh yes, I so want to try a square canvas, and I say just let it, just use an excessive amount of paint so it just all puddles out on its own. That would be just so pretty. Okay, well, let's do, well, we've got a lot of paint left here, so maybe we'll even give that a try. Okay, we're going to do a fair bit of black and that might just, hmm, okay, a white and then let's get our wine in. Hmm, let's see what comes with this. Let's get this pretty, pretty wine shade in. Some more white. And maybe, I don't know, let's try, let's see, yeah, let's see what happens with this one. Let's do a little bit more, touch more black, just a touch, and touch more white. touch we can kind of tip it as it's coming out ooh okay this is something different I hadn't really thought of and touch more wine I think okay so like I say it's always an adventure you never know for sure might as well use it the last of white you never know for sure what you're going to get Okay, this one, oh, that's no problem. Okay, let's go ahead and lift this one. And get that out of the way. Okay, I'm going to get tipping on this one. Let's get this one moving. Probably could have left some of that white, but that's okay. Okay, 
These are getting some really pretty cell development though in them too. That's what I like watching. Like I say, they they kind of come to life after you've got them settled. You leave them sit and they will they will continue to develop, which is really pretty. Let's get some of this darker down here in this corner. Let's tip this. A pretty color combination though. Okay, and we'll get that corner done. Let's go this way a little bit. Get this corner filled in. So I do, I've never tried doing four at one time either. So this is all this was an experiment for me tonight. Let's, on, let's get you moving over here a little bit. So I really, really want to get playing with this one. That's the beauty about this so too. You can go ahead and you can add in colors just enough to okay I think we got that one good I think we've got oh we need a little touch there I think we're good all right let's see oh this one's kind of it's quite striking looking I'll keep Sometimes take a little and drizzle it in. Okay. Back a little bit. Bring it down a little more back some so that we don't lose all that pretty burgundy and let's take our stick and just take and do a little drizzle here and a little drizzle in there okay wow so each one you can see how each one comes out different Obviously, you know, just like I said, you never know what you're going to get. Let's cover that a little bit better. Okay, and I've got, oh, I've got stuff all over my fingers. Okay. All right, uh, let's go ahead. Okay, there we go. So now we've got four together and yet not together. I'm going to, let me get my hands wiped off. Oh, I really do recommend wearing gloves. <laughs> But, you know, <laughs> you know, okay. Okay, now, say so this, these would be really pretty together. I still do say I want to try the, uh, I do want to try one, though, on a, on a square. I think a square would be the best for one like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take our heat gun and be careful. I don't have anything left sitting. And I could have even showed you, like, look how pretty even that design is down there on the bottom of the colander. You know, so, as I say, if I could have done, if I can get a square canvas and do one with, and just keep layering the paint and letting them gradually flow, I think that would be really pretty. It'll almost be kind of a mandala effect. Okay, so let's get this heat gun on. Open, heat it up, and let's give it a, sh go ahead and shoot it just to pop any air bubbles we might have and you'll see that you keep getting cell development which is what's really 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 cool it's 
see something on this one I'm not quite liking. I want to get just a little bit of a tip in it. I don't know what we've got there. Let me take a, just a little bit of a... Okay, we just just take a little smidge. I think I had a little bit of something drip across it. I just kind of pull it out a little. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm liking that again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So each one, you know, totally different. Has a personality of its own. Let's hit them up a little again with your heat gun. Run that across it. That'll help pop out any air bubbles. And then with these, gosh, I let them sit. They can be moved within Oh, an hour or two possibly you just have to be really careful but then I let them cure for at least two days before I handle them you know I have a room I'll set them off in my guest room you know on some oh, a piece of cardboard or something back there that I use or this rack when I get the rack cleaned up and go ahead and there there we go okay yeah, like I say, sorry about that. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and let these cure. I would say let these cure for probably say probably about two days. You'll be able to tell. And then what I've been doing with mine now, and it's come out really pretty, is I give them a couple of coats of a gloss spray that just keeps these colors vibrant like this, which you know so I just love. And 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 that doesn't take all that long to do. You can coat those pretty quickly and say it just kind of. Kind of gives it a nice little gloss. It keeps them looking like they're wet, even though they're not. Okay, so listen, I hope you all had fun watching. This is the kind of stuff I just love to do. And you'll notice even as you're laying a piece, if you're laying a piece dry, what I love about this, we're getting starting to get all this really cool cell development. Beautiful cell development all up in there. Uh, some really pretty down in here. Here, there's some beautiful stuff going on here too. So, you know, each one different, but yet would be a beautiful piece grouped together on a wall. Uh, it will be posted for sale probably within the next week on my Etsy store. And what I'll do is I will go ahead and post pictures possibly tomorrow. If not, it'll be the day after. So I really need to let them cure so I can handle them and get them sprayed and, and looking all shiny and glossy again. So probably be a day or two, I will be posting some on Snook and Company on Facebook. Uh, say, please go ahead, check my page out. Give me a like. Every every like helps so much in the world of, of algorithms that is all part of social media. Uh, so, and I'm all, we're also on Instagram too, actually speaking of that, I also have Snook and Company, Snook and Company on Instagram. So finished product pieces of the pictures will be posted on Facebook and on Instagram. This video will be up on YouTube in the next day or so, and, uh, they'll be for sale in my Etsy store as well. So I hope you had as much fun as I did and just stay tuned to my channel and my Facebook page for all kinds of new good things I'll be tackling in the next the weeks and days to come. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Good night.